Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we have shift planets again. Once again, we're at Echo here. And let's have a look here quickly at the map just so we can see where we are. We were going to jump uh, here. Is it here? Atlantic Conning? Yeah, Five Skull. But it looks like our Jade Falcon al allies had heard that we were planning on going there and had already gotten a, a, a jump on that uh, nut and it had cracked it a little bit. But here... It is still 100% combine, so we're going to attack this five skull planet. See what we can do to help out here. Um, so there's a couple of missions I got planned for today. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the contracts. So we've got lost contact and take the bait at five skulls. Lost contact is a recovery mission, um, and it's uh, where's her? Uh, they're holding uh, some stuff in a nearby facility, so we got to go and recover the item and get it back. And then right after that, we'll get in nipped into bud. Um, it's a three and a half skull contract for our secondary lands, an ambush convoy mission. They're moving mechs apparently overland, so we're I guess we're ambushing a convoy of mechs. So that should be kind of interesting. So let's do lost contact first. It's really really la lousy payment. I was thinking about taking take the bait, but this is really really lousy payment. My guess is we're going to have. I don't know, maybe crappy mechs, but it is five skulls, so we're going to go full salvage because we've got a lot of sea bills. We're okay for the next few months, so let's accept this. So even if we, we were managed to take a lot of damage in this mission, I think we'd still be okay. Uh, the one modification I did make on the way here in the night gear, uh, we do have a lot of Artemis ammo in this thing, so I thought, we have Swarm, I thought I would drop in a ton of incendiary ammo as well, um, just in case we encounter a mech that's... Uh, um, you know, really heavy on uh, energy weapons, we can heat it up pretty good. Or if we encounter a mech that's already started to overheat, we can hammer them good and shut them down, hopefully. So we're going to do this, and let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we are. Okay. There's our evac point. It looks pretty damn quiet. It's not about earn, earning money. It's about furthering the Jade Falcon cause. So we're going to attack it from this side. So you may have noticed on my uh, channel now I've started a series called Invasion. It's a uh, Minecraft mod pack series. Uh, I was planning on doing a lot of recording for um, for uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn and um, Night Witches over my vacation last week. Commander? But um, as as things were changing on the map so rapidly, I was like, you know, it really isn't going to work. Um, what do we got here? Marauder? Okay. Uh, it wasn't going to work because I would be so far ahead in like one or two days. And then anytime you guys watch the episodes, the maps would have majorly changed since that point. So I'm trying to do them like these videos every single day so you'll have a good idea of where the map is every single day so when you guys see these videos it'll be one day after the map has changed okay we're not gonna fire yet um, so anyway so yeah I, I got back into playing the invasion mod pack uh, for Minecraft because I hadn't played it in such a long time um, Mad Cat Mark 2 eh? where'd you get the Mad Cat from guys? Okay. Um, anyways, I hadn't played it in a long time, so I thought, okay, well, I'll give it a whirl again. I really enjoy playing it. Okay. I've been watching um, some Glock 9 videos. He does a lot of Seven Days to Die, which is like Roger a that. zombie survival build kind of series. Uh, two Goss rifles. Yeesh. Um... Do we want to offensive push this and try and leg him? We're doing so little damage right now, though. Let's just plank him. We'll get a good idea here in a minute if he can see us. Standing by. Um, so anyway, yeah, I've been watching a lot of his videos. Um, his 7 Days to Die um, series. It's kind of cool. Cool. It's like every 7 days a zombie a horde will come and attack you. So you have to kind of prepare your base and your defenses for that. Um... But anyway, that kind of got me back into uh, the Invasion series. It's kind of similar to that, but not quite. Uh, anyway, I 
I started up on the channel, and thanks to those for people who anyone that want to watch it, go ahead. Uh, if it's if you've got kids and you want them to watch it, just remember uh, there I do drop a few f bombs here or there. I use the uh, the s word every once in a while. Um, so there is a few swear words. So just keep that in mind if you're watching it with your kids or your kids watch it. But if you want to watch it, go ahead. It's um, it's not. I don't want to say it's hardcore survival, but it is fairly. Uh, it is a fairly tough survival series, especially for me, playing those kind of games. I'm not the best, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of fun. So yeah, I recorded a bunch of those last week, and I'll probably be releasing them over the next little while. But as far as this series goes, I'm recording, like I said, two episodes every night for these guys, Night Witches and uh, Falcon Freeborn. So you'll get a good idea of where the map is every single day. I was kind of shocked to see how much uh, Jade Falcon has progressed here. Well, I'm not really shocked. I mean, they're doing a really great job of, uh, of um, pushing forward in the inner sphere here. Okay, now we're supposed to be getting salvage out of this. So let's go like this. And then let's switch to four offensive push and let's go after a leg here 76 percent if we hit them and maybe we should turn it up a bit more just to see if we can actually hit all right firing ah good to go aye, aye. this guy over here is dangerous so we're just going to keep raining down some nightmare on him Okay, we penned. Uh, okay. Well, there's the enemy right there. The ballista artillery tank is the one we got to go after. So these guys are actually pushing us, but they're not actually shooting, so I don't know if they can see us or not. Let's go for this guy's leg. There it is. Be nice if I can get two lances up to the heavy status. We're, I should really check my assault parts as well, but um, yes. if we can get two lances into the heavy status, that means we can be pulling five skull missions off um, two times an uh, uh, episode. All right, let's go here and firing. Let's see how you like this. Nice. Mech you bet. Girl, you got your shiz going back and on again. We need to hit that artillery tank. Um, we're not even going to move. We're going to warlord it. And we're going to switch to swarm ammo. Does more damage. And firing. He's got a sniper inferno ammo. Can't let them see us. Just move back here for now. We got our racks jammed. We got one jammed. We'll unjam it now. All right, they got eyes on. We got to start worrying about that now. Waiting for orders. Better chance to hit if you don't move. So let's just do that. Uh, we've only got 40. So let's go back with some of these. You know what? We're going to do more damage if we just apply all of these. So let's fire. Aye, aye. We're just going to hit more often. There we go. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Thank you. Receive. Hopefully we can claim that sniper ammo. Or the sniper itself. That'd be nice. Firing. Firing full so I picked up another half ton or a ton of uh, arrow... Um, Incendiary ammo. So we've got some good arrow ammo now when we get an arrow back. We've got to find an arrow here. Commander? Can you get over here? You can. Nice. Copy that, Commander. And I'm going to vigilance you so you're a little faster next turn. And we got 201 left in the front, eh? And 30, 
132. So we're going to go this way. Warlord, confirm, offensive push. Going to fire on this side and go ahead. Nope. Not today. We did get one hit though. Somebody's got Swarm. Nice move. Nice move. It's not going to save you, though. Uh, that's probably where the Goss is. We want to screw around with this guy. 56% chance to hit. We just fire. Okay, we got one shot on. Huh. Uh, yeah. I think we got his arm. we get out of the view of that guy? Probably. Yeah, there we go. No shooting, just running. Let's get on this guy. And eh, firing. Standing by. There we go. Direct fire. Copy that. Ninety-two percent chance. Just got a light engine. Let's wipe him out. There we go. Hope we can sell it. This better not be it for uh This better not be it for this for these guys. Okay, well there goes that. Alright, full sprint. Let's get through the fire. Aye, aye. What's up, boss? Somebody said it would be nice to... It'd be interesting if they could do a uh, uh, fire animation for those mechs that are on fire. That just makes them look like a matchstick. Just <laughs> fire burning on top of their head. Although I've seen some pretty nice fire animation. Not, I mean, they really shouldn't be on fire because there's nothing on the outside that w would allow them to be on fire. If you think about it, because they're in a battle zone, right? The last thing you want to have is anything on the external part of your vehicle that's going to allow it to be on fire. So, um, my guess is there is no exterior part of the mech that could catch fire. Uh, now, if there was, it was hit by a chemical that was somehow sticking to the mech... Um, then I would say yes, but for the most part, uh, what's going to catch fire, right? You'd have to assume that the armor that they have, because everything is so reliant on reducing heat, that the armor that they have would, you know, not allow anything that's going to allow them to have a tremendous amount of heat. Um, it would stop it from sticking to the vehicle somehow. I think this is going to be it. There it is. Five skulls. Somebody say, stated that the uh, damage done is generally inversely proportional. Or sorry, the uh, um, the uh, difficulty of the mission is inversely proportional to the amount of money you're being paid and the amount of salvage you get. So if you're it's like five skull and it's a really easy mission, you're going to get tons of salvage. But yet if it's, a, if it's a five skull and really difficult, you'll get very little salvage opportunity that is so i don't know possibility mad cat 2 90 tons really huh that's interesting uh 
is the sniper artillery here? It is. 70 damage. Deals massive damage at extreme range. Extreme mass, 20 tons. Two times the deal a critical hit with this weapon. Weapon's damage can vary between plus or minus 15. Recoil of 5. Smaller version of the long tom. Uh... And there is Sniper down here, Shape Charge, 70 meter AOE, 30 AOE damage. What's the stability damage with this though? Plus 50% Sniper damage. Um... Hundred and fifty meter AOE. AOE sixty damage. I don't know, maybe I should take this. It's a little weighty for the mechs we have now, but uh, it's something we can definitely use later on. And then we'll grab two marauder pieces. Cause chances are we're gonna find more marauder pieces than we're gonna find this thing. Alright, let's go that route. So we got four Marauder parts and the Mad Cat part. That's awesome. Oh my god, and the LRM Delta, the two LRMs. Uh, not that it makes that much difference. Uh, and the remaining sniper ammo. <laughs> Plus some patchworks. Okay, that was a pretty damn good roll, I gotta say. Okay. Ooh, Russell Hag's fighting back. Huh, Steiner is fighting Valkyrie, really? Should be fighting Clan Wolf. All right. Whole damage, Lancer's damage, but barely anything. So let's move the Orion up. Everything will be back in two days. But that doesn't matter because right now we get the second Lance. We go on a run. If this goes fast, we'll be able to pull another mission off here. But uh, we're going to take this one first and then we'll check out how much... Uh, what we did here as far as flipping this planet. It was 100% Karita before, uh, but we got another one here. We could take against the ambush convoy. Let's negotiate. And it's three and a half skulls, so, I don't, uh, well, let's just go, We got, like I said, we got enough sea bills. Let's go full salvage. And we're gonna put our second lance in here. So we got the Stormcrow Prime, Stormcrow D, E, and F. And we're going to run with Hannibal the Cannibal and Rhino. And let's go with, uh, yeah, Judge and Gaucho, or Gaucho and then Judge. Like that. All right, let's do this. All right, tracking down the convoy. Stop him from reaching his destination. I know what we gotta do. Let's do this, guys. Well, it's not like a jungle world like our home world, but still. Why don't I hear vehicles? I thought they were moving mechs. I thought they were moving mechs. Full speed. Waiting for orders. All right, here we go. What can I do for you? Back to our old style of play. Uh -huh. Gonna hammer these guys hard. What do we got here? Heavily wheeled APC. Are they moving the mechs via vehicle? I mean, it'll be the worst mistake they ever made, but... Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Might as well pepper him. Firing. Yay! Looks like about 12 points damage there. Good to go. 
Yeah, we're in strike range now. That's some good evasion. That's some good evasion. Good to go. Cannibal, the cannibal. Uh, do we wait an ambush? Probably. I've got eyes on the target. So what do we got here? Raven, catapult, a missile carrier, mobile artillery who has to die horribly as fast as we can kill it. Uh-huh. All right, firing. Yikes. Failed to connect. You think? They've got a lock on me. Shit. Okay. Order. That guy's gotta die. Gotta kill this vehicle first. I don't even know if this is part of the right Double. convoy or if it's I don't know. Let's just hammer him. Uh, gonna save the Warlord for something more important. Puma. Okay. Get your ass up here. Okay. Let's hit, hopefully. There we go. That's part of the convoy, really. That's the Puma. That's the Ballista Artillery Tank. Raven, can we get eyes on the artillery tank? You know what? You betcha. I think we disappear from their sensors. That's what I think we do. Yep. Commander. It's exactly what we're doing. Uh, yes. It's not much, but it's a start. Standing by. On the move. Yes, Commander. Okay. In theory, all these ECMs should be adding more to, to uh, our ECM ability here. Okay, they got eyes on now. We need to move. Let's strike them, guys. Let's strike them. Can we hit that ballista carrier? That's the Puma. Where's the missile? Where's the uh, sniper art artillery? Yeah, let's see if we can claim it. Okay, nicely done. Move us down. The 
This guy's the guy with eyes on. It's not gonna help you. Oh, the crapper pulled. Okay, come on, where's that sniper guy? Firing. This isn't a particularly strong loadout on that mech. Uh, Commander? This loadout, on the other hand, is actually pretty good. Taking the shot. Oof, again. Give us a better chance to hit. Let's fire on this guy. Nice. Nah, I didn't blow anything off him. Came close though. Waiting on you, Commander. On my way. And firing again. Yeah, they're coming from behind us too. Back here. Bulldog, okay. Somebody's using Inferno. We need to pull back this way. You got fire maneuver. Ultra 20 is jammed, eh? Okay, nice shot. Moving out. Good thing we got speed. It's not the Ultra 20 arm, so it's not so bad. Figures that it would be the uh, the Light Lance that ran into difficulty today. Receiving. Okay. Hammer this guy. Vindicator, eh? Acknowledged. Let's get in the trees. Yeah, Commander. And firing. Roger. Nice. And you too. Heading out. What can I do for you? Oh, how aggressive do we want to be now? Probably pretty damn aggressive.
Not that aggressive. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Waiting for orders. On my way. Double time. Okay, catapult. Gonna be overheating. Let's just uh, rest here. So my thought is that we wait. These guys are going to be coming down through here anyway. I'm going to move the Nova back around this way. We're going to strike from this side. These guys are going to strike from this side. We gotta stay unstable because I need to save that vigilance for this guy. Receiving you. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Scimitar. Wow, that's all the difference, eh? Let's just fire these four. We're overheating for two turns. Look at this inferno. So that's fine. Uh, minimal damage on that hit. There's a Vindicator back there somewhere, another vehicle at the back, so we're okay over here. We gotta bust it on these guys. We should have the speed. I hear ya. And firing. Potential for a back shot on us, so let's move into here. Multiple target here and here, and fire. Firing on multiple yeah. Ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. All right, firing. Now let's see how you handle this. Oh. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Okay. That's not the guy you should be worried about. Reporting. Okay, cool. Got enough vigilance now. Oh, we can't even... Oh, we can see him, but we can't shoot him. Good to go. All right, firing. That catapults grave danger of back attacks. So, somebody commented I should be paying more attention to stepping on mechs. They've got a sensor lock on me. And I, I do kind of agree in a way, 
But a lot of my mechs, especially, well, in this series anyway, a lot of these Omni mechs do very little melee damage. Um, so, like, I can either step on a mech for, like, 60 or 70 damage, or I can shoot at them and do over 200. Or, like, I mean, a vehicle. So, I mean, in my other series, sure, Night Witches, I can kind of get it. But in this series, the damage is really insignificant compared to what I can do with it with my weapons. So it's the reason why I usually don't step on step on vehicles. And I've I've been staying away from melee in this series, and that includes vehicles most of the time. So I don't even bother. Okay, Hannibal. Waiting on you, Commander. Moving out. All right, let's hammer him. Do we OP this guy? Sure. Oh, yes. We ain't going anywhere. We're not done cleaning up. Let's work on finishing these guys off. Fire everything. Yeah, this Stormcrow needs to fix up that. Uh, we got to fix the weapons on that guy. I think the LRMs are probably not the best choice. Maybe Streak 6s or something. Or just regular SRMs with Deadfire ammo or something like that. Because we are... I mean, I'm playing the faster game with these guys again, so... We're going to be in close a lot of the time. What's up, boss? Got to make sure we keep our side turned to those other guys. Ah, really bad chances to hit. Okay, so the Ontos has got 850. It's taking some damage to the front. This guy's got 240, and we'd have to get lucky with a side shot on him. We have a better chance to hit. So let's fire on this guy. Right? I think so. Oh, yeah! Good shooting. Oof, almost killed him too. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Yeah, I know we're losing armor. Once we pull these two vehicles out of action though, the rest of these guys will fall like I don't know, something bad. Hey guys, what are you doing? Scimitar. They've got a walk on me. They've got a bulldog back here too, I think, somewhere. Pretty sure I saw a bulldog. Ow. Oof. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, we're doing okay. Armor's alright. 
Can't afford a big hit, but armor is okay. Took 30 burn damage. Now, where would he take the damage, though? Is it everywhere? Don't know if he just took it on one side or spreads it around everywhere. Who knows? Good to go. Okay, let's get a line of sight of those other guys. Gonna fire on this guy. Hopefully we connect with the sides at some point here. Firing everything I've got. There we go. Move her down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, how much armor do you have at the back? 142 plus 50 IS. Okay. What are you guys doing? Come on. I've been sensor locked. Yeah. Standing by. Now they take up more damage on the side, so let's go for a side shot. Might be able to blow through here. Yeah. Taking minimal damage. Receiving you. I copy. All right. Warlord this up. Hammer this guy from the side. Here it comes. I copy. Yeah, he's still going. It's got a lock on me. Almost panned the front. There is a chance to hit the front from the side here. Uh, what's our chance to hit? 52% chance. We're just going to run it. We're just going to shoot and hope we got lucky. Oh yeah. That wasn't luck. That was all skill. Okay man, B team is performing very well at this moment. Starting to get their synergy into play here. Got a UAC. I got a UAC 20 for that guy, so I'm not going to bother shooting at him with everybody else firing. Good to go. Coordinates received. And fire. Targeting for an alpha. Ooh, the big gun hit. Nice. Oh no, you didn't. Receiving you. Ah, maybe we we'll get lucky. Nope. Can't always get lucky. There's another vehicle back there somewhere. There you are. Auto cannon version, eh? Affirmative. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage, buddy. 
So I'm thinking we're going to pull the LRMs off of this other Stormcrow. I mean, it's an awful lot of splash damage. Wow, that guy was like running away. Standing by. Coordinates received. I mean, they are hitting okay. Not like we're not hitting with them. Saw the connection on that one. Away that's not getting very many kills with it, that's all. On my way. All right, firing. Thank you. This mech is so run, running so heat neutral. Like, look at this. Firing. Yeah. Tango down. Waiting for orders. Got it. Let's cool off here. See if we can wipe this guy out. Yeah. Commander. Oh, right there. Right there. So we're almost at an LK ammo. So that I mean, we have enough ammo. Down. I mean, because this was a pretty long engagement. We had no problem with the ammo on this one. Although we didn't fire every turn too though, right? Good to go. Okay, so if I step on this guy, I'm gonna do 74 damage. Or sorry, 68 damage with a 75% chance to hit. If I walk over here, that's the reason why I don't step on him. There's just no point. Like with clan max, there's just no point in stepping on a target. A vehicle target that is. Got it. So yeah, I would have done what sixty-eight damage in one location. Yes, Commander. Um, but still, it's just not. Uh, there's not enough of a reason for me to do that. All right, contract payment increased by 35%. Awesome. We're going to take a fair amount in damages, I think. So we'll see. Probably about, I'm going to guess around 70, 80 grand, maybe 100 grand in damages. All right, we got penned in the arm here. The Nova, that was, I wasn't worried so much about that because that's where the medium improved heavy laser was. We got lots of those. So if, it, if we lost it, it wasn't a big deal. And replacing a clan arm doesn't take very long. So. It's not a big issue with that. All right. Good distribution of kills, too, I think. All right. Catapult parts. Vindicator parts. Eh, I don't know. ERPPC. Like, this is all inner sphere junk. Um, narc launcher. Sniper artillery again. We <laughs> take two of them. Uh, Thunderbolt 20s. Somebody said I should be loading Thunderbolt 20s onto the, uh, I think it was uh, Fists of Dorne, said I should put a Thunderbolt, well, Thunderbolt uh, 10, I think he said, or 15. That's 100 damage for 12 tons. Put it on the uh, night gear. Is there ammo down here? There is. It's five shots per ton, right? Three shots per ton. Hmm. It's 100 damage, though. Pinpoint for 12 tons. The thing is, is I, I've got two LRM 20s. That's 10 tons. That has the potential to do, what, 80, 160 damage? It's not pinpoint, though. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, I said I wasn't going to use inner sphere stuff. Ah. Uh, I don't think I can do it. I want to do it just for the sake of mechs and stuff, but I don't want to do it because it's not it's not clan tech, right? Uh, I know some of our things that we're using for the mechs here aren't clan tech either, like the sensors and stuff, but like weapon-wise, I don't know. It's a tough choice. I don't think I can justify it. I don't know. But if I am going to start using other stuff, because we are in the inner sphere, I'm going to have to start taking things um, as replacements. So maybe we do do that then. Okay. Start off like this. See if I can find Thunderbolt 20 ammo. I don't know if, we'll, if it's actually going to make it into the night gear, but I'll see what I can do. I don't know. All right, two Raven parts and Vindicator part. I mean, we could lower the 20s down to 15s, put three 15s in the Thunderbolt 20 in maybe or something, or two 15s in the 10. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We got the XL engine, so we can sell that. Yeah, all right. Okay. Um, not worried about this right now. 133,000. Yeah, so a fair bit more than what I thought. Eight days for repair, though, so that's nothing. That's really nothing. Okay, first thing we want to do is have a look at the star map. Okay, star map. Down to 88%. It was at 100% before. 88, not bad. Uh, there's nobody else here on the planet, just us. So, yeah, just us on the planet. Anybody else around? No, not that I can see of see but yeah um yeah not too bad 12 percent i guess is better than nothing uh let's check a look take a look here in the mech bays uh actually first i want to just do uh manager tasks a bit better we're gonna pull these guys down four Right, so that's back to way the way it was. So two days we'll have those back, and then another. Actually, that's the fastest I think. Right, so these two finish. This one goes in. These two go in. Then this guy finishes. This one goes in. So we'll have these back in five days. Four. Four. Yeah, five days and everything's back. Not bad. Okay, so let's get this done. And I want to have a look. Yeah, I know they don't like us. But what can we say? I don't care. That's what I can say. Can I have a quick look at the night gear? I'm interested to see what can be done here. We'll do it on camera just so we can see. Um, the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 20. So let's drop out two of these. We're definitely going to need to lose two of them. And half of the ammo. Right, we'll leave this ammo in. And then if we go to weapons, launchers, Thunderbolt 20. We do have a 10 we picked up a little while ago. Thunderbolt 20 can go in, and then we need to find the ammo. Um, arrow ammo. Yeah, see, I picked up some more Inferno ammo. Um, Thunderbolt 20, we got two. So that's how it would be loaded out. 
Kind of seems underwhelming. Like we could go and take these two out and then we can put in LRM 15, LRM 15. And then we got three, we put another LRM 15 in and then we can put in, do we have uh, patchwork materials here? We got 0.25 tons. And then we could take a little bit of armor off the back, like one, two, three, four. So three LRM 15s, LRM 45. It's two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 14 turns of firing. I don't know. We only got six turns of firing with these though. I checked the store when I got here. I don't think, I don't remember seeing any Thunderbolt ammo, but I wasn't looking for it. Um, yeah, I don't see any here. So, so this is a, once we get the more Thunderbolt ammo, like one more ton would be perfect, I think. Then we can run this until we pick up another arrow system. Yeah, it's a possibility. It certainly is a possibility. So I'm going to leave it how we have it right now. And then when we pick up one more ton of Thunderbolt 20, we'll switch it over. Because we can always pull out one ton of... Well, we can always pull out the incendiary ammo. I don't know how often we're going to use it. But that is a good possibility. Okay. Kind of sold me on that one. I'd love to have two more turns of ammo. 12, 12 turns. 12 turns of firing with the Thunderbolt would kind of be good. But, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel about me using the Thunderbolt 20? I know I've been saying I'm trying to stay away from Inner Sphere stuff, um, but I am going to have to start using Inner Sphere Max at some point, so possibility of just using Inner Sphere Tech as well. Um, let me know. I'll drop it in the comment section down below if you want me to go that route. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air whether, whether I will or not, but... Um, yeah, whatever, whatever you guys think, I don't know, well, you can sway me either way. Alright, so until next time, we'll see you later.